I've done it. I've officially kicked off the series in only the most swelling brain of ways, uh, like only I could. I'd like to thank you all for the amazing, overwhelming support in the last episode. Feels great. And I'd like to thank all of you, like practically each and every one of you, for a comment uh, kind of like this, or like this, or like this, or... Yeah, yeah, there were so many of these comments. I guess I was so blinded by the beauty of these new caves. Like, they're so amazing, they're great. I spent, like, a good portion of the episode inside of these things looking for diamonds, you know? And the whole time, the whole time, all along, or sitting right in front of us, right in front of my eyes. How could I even miss it? It's honestly a tragedy. And this is too. I have too many things still. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to leave the diamond here. Ah, I really like all of this stuff, but I mean, I guess, I guess we could sacrifice this red die. Thank you so much for all of your services, but a diamond. A diamond is only slightly more important than a red die. But with that, it's time to get out of the cave. Because, you see, last episode, I got myself into a little bit of a situation. I spent so much time mining, looking for diamonds, in the pursuit of pure profit, that I completely ran out of food, and also, I completely ran out of torches. You see, in these new caves, coal doesn't generate down low, which means if I'm looking around in these caves, and I'm down low, I'm not going to find any coal, which also means I'm not going to be able to see anything. And if I can't see anything inside of this cave, then I can't find anything inside of this cave. And if I can't find anything inside of this cave, then there's no point in staying inside of this cave. Our first order of business at the top of the second episode of Minecraft Survival is to make our way out of the cave. Will he ever do it? I don't know. Only time will tell. While I make my way out of the cave, I'd like to acknowledge this subreddit post right here from the best subreddit in the world. I like this post, and I agree with it. That's something we're going to try and do. I'd also like to acknowledge this meme right here, the very first meme that I saw created about the series. I, uh, I love it. The meme is great. It's perfect, and it's so true. If you mine your first iron up on the surface, like we talked about last episode, you're a terrible person. And that's that. And of course, it would be raining as soon as I make my way out of the cave. Good news, we made it out of the cave. Bad news, I found a skeleton. But it would be raining, just like my typical UK weather. Man, uh, what a bummer. Anyways, we have to find the base camp. I have no clue where I left the base camp at. Uh, it should be in the same spot as it was last episode. That would make sense. But yeah, I I'm going to have to find that. Ah, uh, yes, yes it is. It's right over here. Home sweet home. That bed is a little bit too close to that campfire. That's a little bit better. And I need food, like, desperately. I mean, I guess I have this. This will get us started, but I'm going to need food. Also, I, I have to talk about this seed. So the world seed, you know, I, I showed it in the last episode. There's a big reason that I picked this seed, and I I I'm going to show you the reason why I picked this seed, but small problem. In between episodes, I've kind of fallen out of love with this seed. I At least the spot of it. I, I don't really like it, so... Today we're going to start the series all over again. Hello everybody, it's me, your British boy, and welcome to Minecraft Survival, episode number one. Here we are, back on the main menu. Wow. Aha, okay, okay, I got you. That's enough with the jokes. We're not going to actually leave this world, but we are going to leave this spot. Today we're going to set out an exploration of a new land, but before we do that, I'm going to show you why I picked this area. I think it's really nice. I'm also going to sleep. I guess not yet. And I'm going to get more food. I'm kind of starving. Also, the mob head pack. There was a little bit of mystery with the mob head pack last episode. It didn't seem to be working. Uh, I still haven't gotten a mob head in between episodes because I've literally done nothing in this world in between now and the last episode. But it should be working. I checked the pack. I have an updated version of it. I saw a comment saying something about landing crits with an axe to maybe get mob heads. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. And is that a puffer fish? Oh, <gasps> that's a puffer fish. What if I could get a puffer fish head? That would be really cool. There's like literally a whole school of puffer fish over here. I mean, one of you has to drop the head, right? Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna be have to, I'm gonna have to be careful about that. Okay, maybe we should do something else. All right, so we're about to leave this location. We're gonna find a brand new spot for the forever base, I think. But before we do that, I'm gonna make a chest, drop some stuff off, and show you why I actually decided to make my base over here. When I was looking through the seeds of this world, I wanted something good. I figured everybody would be starting with a frozen peak seed, like right at spawn, which, which is nice. Frozen peaks are very, very nice biome. But I wanted something a little bit different. At least I kind of assumed it would be a little bit different than everybody else's spawn. I'm also just realizing I forgot the bed. <laughs> maybe I should keep that with me. I think it's becoming nighttime. Mm-hmm. There we go, no more rain, and you know what? I actually come up with an idea. So I have Optifine, which means 64 chunks is a possibility. Is it going to crash the game? Possibly. Instead of running all the way over to what I found near spawn inside of this world, I think I could probably just do this. <laughs> what is that line? That is so weird. Well, anyways, uh, over here, this way at spawn, there's a stony mountain. The stony mountain with the calcite, perfect. Like a literal perfect mountain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this is kind of what spawn looks like. We have a big savanna over there, a forest right there, the jungle, that's pretty cool. And then the calcite mountain right back there, which is really, really nice looking. Like, don't get me wrong, we love calcite. Absolutely, 100%. 
Calcite Mountain Raid at spawn, top tier. I love it. Calcite is one of the best blocks in the game. Would be really nice to build with or build by. The forest nearby, super useful, different wood types too. It's great. But there's this one thing, and that thing is Frozen Mountains. I think Frozen Mountains look really, really good, and I kind of want to build by one. Today, after we set up a small build at World Spawn, we're going to actually leave World Spawn for now. We'll be back one day, maybe, maybe not, but we're going to set up a build, and then we're going to explore. Hopefully you're cool with that, and hopefully we'll find some cool things along the way. So do you remember last episode when I said something about pretty much the biggest build in the world that we would be working on in this episode? <laughs> well, it, it was a little bit of a joke, but also not at the same time. We'll be working on a build today, not the build I originally planned, but a build. For this build, I think I'm going to use birch wood, and I think I'm going to use oak wood, which means this forest, I'm so sorry, but it's me, Tree Choppos. I I'm back again inside of this series, and this forest, it has to go. I'm going to need like maybe a stack of oak logs and maybe a stack of birch logs too. I'm going to need a lot of wood. It's tree chopping time. Wait, oh my gosh, those are the first oak recipes of the world. That's kind of cool. Check out this land that we have by world spawn inside of this world. There's a lot of stone. I was talking with my grandmother, we'll call her uh, Grandma for short, and she was talking about a lighthouse. So now, this is some lighthouse that I guess they like literally moved with like logs. Like they put the lighthouse on logs and moved it because like basically like the land kept moving the lighthouse or, or something. I don't know, it, it was kind of confusing. It was crazy though. They moved a lighthouse with logs, it was mind blowing. Now we're not going to move a lighthouse with logs, I'm not like mumbo jumbo or something like that. But we're going to build a lighthouse. A lighthouse sitting right here at World Spawn to mark World Spawn, I think that's a pretty good idea. Now I realize and I remember that World Spawn is technically right over there. But I like the spot a lot better. I, I don't know. I feel like it could be kind of cool sitting in land next to the forest. So we're going to build the lighthouse right over here. For the lighthouse build, we're going to need basically four things, I think. Cobblestone, birch planks, oak planks, and copper. Now, speaking of copper, I, I don't have very much copper. I have two blocks of raw copper, a couple more pieces. However, there's copper all over the ground here. There's copper right here. There's copper back over at World Spawn. I think, hopefully, I should be able to run around, get enough copper from the ground, smelt it up in the furnace over here. Coal might be a problem, too, so I'll have to find some more of that. I smelt the copper up inside of the furnace, make a stone cutter, turn the copper into copper blocks, take those copper blocks, cut them in the cut copper. They quadruple. And I should have enough. I mean, it's a small lighthouse. I, I'm not going to need too many copper blocks. So I'm actually contractually and legally obligated to begin the builds inside of this world with a circle. Circle build, the lighthouse, it's literally the perfect combination. Cobblestone base, we go up two blocks. I think it's going to be pretty cool. We'll have the entrance to the lighthouse, like over there or over there somewhere. Not over here on this side, though, for sure. Cobblestone base, two blocks up. Mossy cobblestone, that would be a dream, for sure. But tragically and sadly, a dream, that's exactly where it's going to have to stay today. Off camera, I was mining. I chopped down a ton of the forest. I'll replant it, don't worry. And I got over a stack of oak logs and over a stack of birch logs. Technically. Lighthouses are towers, and you know, towers. I love building towers. Towers are really good, and consistently, I build them like perfectly, flawlessly, every single time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a flawless tower that looks nothing like, like other things at all, we will say. And it's going to be great. And I'm wondering if I'm going to have enough logs. Well, you know what? I, I think I just came up with, like, the best idea of all time, or one of them at least, to make sure I have enough wood. Windows. I'll just put windows all over this thing. It's less wood. Three less wood on that side. Three and three. That's nine. I mean, we keep doing that. We're going to have so much extra wood. I think it'll work. So I don't know if you noticed or not, but yesterday I actually didn't upload a video. Pretty interesting reason why I didn't upload a video, actually. It's because I was in France studying lighthouse design. Well, anyways, I'm a lighthouse engineer now, or something like it, and I kind of know how these things should go. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have stripes on this lighthouse with the wood types. It's going to be perfect. And we're going to have details on the lighthouse, too. We're going to have, like, the windows in the middle. Staircases lead into the windows. It'll look literally perfect, like every other lighthouse should. Uh, on the top, we'll have staircases maybe popping back out. I think that could look cool. And then windows all over this thing. On the inside of the lighthouse... Uh, of course there's going to be an inside to the lighthouse, of course. Well, why would you imply that there won't be an inside on the lighthouse? Also, to make the lighthouse look a little bit more interesting, maybe we'll have, like, angles pop in right here, and then maybe even more angles. Like, up here, we're going to have the lighthouse get a little bit thinner. So maybe, like, staircases. I feel like that could be cool. And so with that, I kind of realized that that was a lot of words, and I feel like, honestly, they came out really, really quickly, too. But I mean, after all, what can I say? I'm a guy with a mission, and simply put, this lighthouse isn't going to build itself. We have an entire lighthouse to build, and we have to explore there's a lot that has to get done today, and one of us has to do it. It's not going to get done itself. Uh, uh-oh. I just realized something. Um, this is becoming nighttime. Like, like, is it getting close? And I've built this tall tower. Also, I don't have any armor on. Also, I didn't leave a way down. <laughs> I think if I jump off of this thing, it's not going to end well. So, I guess I have one option. It's going to be digging all the way back down, and I guess we're going to have to put an interior on this thing today. Like... Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way up and down because I need to add one more story to this thing and a, and a ceiling. 
Um, <laughs> I guess this is the only way down for now. Uh, that's great. I, I'll fix that. I guess while I'm down here at the bottom of this thing, though, I might as well run around and get a little bit more copper. Maybe chop down a few more trees. And finally, hopefully, find a mob head. <gasps> um, guys, uh, I have something to tell you. <laughs> it works. I did it. I did it. A tropical fish. I mean, I feel bad about it. I, I definitely do, but I did it. I did it. The mob heads work. This is one of my proudest moments of this entire series so far. What you're witnessing right here is is a great and memorable moment. Stone cutter. I love stone cutters. And that's the very first stone cutter of the world. Probably should have put it over there though. And raw copper, raw copper. We need to smelt the copper into normal copper so I can actually use it. I'm running out of coal again, which means I'm gonna have to keep digging. And hey, did I see what I, I did? I left one behind. Hmm, well that looks dangerous. Not anymore. And you know also, while I'm at it, might as well get some sand. We're gonna need that too. Well, welcome back everybody. The project has been progressing very, very nicely. It's time for the copper blocks. Look at those 15 copper blocks right there. Have you ever seen that on episode two? Of course not. And then it gets even better right here. A stack of cut copper. Hopefully that's gonna be good. Now I'm gonna need some staircases. I think maybe we'll start with like eight. Hopefully that'll be perfect. And then I'm definitely gonna need some slabs too. With the slabs, we can turn like half of these into slabs. One day we'll have wax. In fact, we won't just have wax, we'll have more wax than we can ever see. Now the view on top of the lighthouse, this is a really, really nice view. If I was gonna stay here forever, like, yeah, there would be a nice view and I would stand up here and look around at things, except I'm not really gonna stay here. But the top of the lighthouse. So I figured there would really only be one way to finish off this lighthouse and that's gonna be with copper. I always meant to build with copper more in the last series and I never got to. This time around, I'm gonna change that. Starting today with copper. I mean, honestly, how could you not build with this stuff? The changes that they made to it in this update, perfect. Like literally perfect for building. Now I'm thinking like a, like a seep tower. A seep tower would be really cool. And I'm also thinking that I ran out of staircases. <laughs> I think I'm four short, so Back to the bottom of the tower for me. Oh, but you know what? You know what? Maybe this was always meant to be. A lightning rod. Definitely. Definitely a lightning rod on top of this thing. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. By the way, the interior. I fully did the interior. You can see right here. Like, like just look closely at it. Yep. Fully did the interior. Looks pretty cool. Ah, so it's going to be one of those things. I'm going to have one of those problems. I haven't considered how I'm actually going to get down off of this tower. <laughs> it's really tall now. I suppose what I could do is jump off of this here and dig straight down and just replace that block yeah 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 yeah, yeah. problem solved if i had a lantern and chains this is where i would put a lantern and chains but i don't slap a door on this thing maybe birch because i like never use birch doors all right drum roll please because big dramatic reveal in three two one <laughs> i mean it's a tower i i guess it could be worse right like like there's at least a 70 percent chance it could be worse at least as tall which means it's a tower hi we will call this tower donna donna is the name of my grandma she will be proud i mean you can't win them all i'm sure to somebody out there this is the most beautiful thing they've ever seen that somebody wouldn't be me but moving on all right so this morning is the morning we leave spawn forever will we ever come back Maybe. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, probably. But before we leave spawn, I want to make a map. Also, all over the place over here, especially in the water, I'm finding tons and tons of ores. I wonder if that's going to be like a common theme in 1.18. Just ores inside of the rivers or something? I mean, I can't complain. It, it is kind of nice, but I need a map. Map, 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 map. There we go. Here's the first map of the world. That's pretty cool. But now we need to zoom it out, and I don't think I can zoom it out inside of this table, which means I need to find sugarcane before I leave. I feel like I definitely have seen more sugarcane sitting around here somewhere. I mean, 100%. It's just like a plain old forest. As long as we don't have stone shore, we should be able to find sugarcane just sitting around. And also, if there's any like lakes inside of the forest, we should be able to find that too. Wow. Look at that lighthouse from over here. That's a lighthouse, okay? Well, yikes. This way isn't exactly looking too promising. Not a chance of sugarcane over there. And there's none over here. We'll try the other way. Or maybe this way. I mean, I see water over here. Wait a second. Is that an ocean inside of here? <laughs> That's like the smallest lukewarm ocean ever. And no sugar again. 
Aha, there's some out there. And a ruin portal, which is pretty sweet. That's a start. That's good. I mean, no chance it's gonna be enough, but it's a start. Sugarcane. Aha, yes, this ruin portal has led me to my dreams. Even more sugarcane right over here. Sugarcane Island and a ruin portal with two gold blocks that are both now mine. That's perfect. Ruin portal loot, please be good. I mean, sure, I'll take it. That's not too bad. Oh, you know what? And that's the first obsidian of the world, too. How much did we get? Oh, we only got one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But one, that's a start. Okay, I think we hopefully have enough sugarcane now to go back over to the lighthouse, make a cartography table, and get out of here. Mm-hmm, the lighthouse. Look at that thing from out here. Look at how tall that thing is. That's tall. No missing that at all. It's tall, strong, sturdy, and a lighthouse. Also, I'm going to need some more food before the big journey. I finished all the cod. Salmon is different, but food is food. All right, so paper for a brand new map, definitely enough. Seven, that's perfect. Cartography table, easily, and fully expanded map, even easier. Fully zoomed out map, here it is, and hey, look at this. I got lucky now. The mob heads are everywhere. A lot of stuff, that's what I have. I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions here, leave some of the stuff behind, and come back for it later. Now, the golden coordinates, where we're headed off to. I know a little bit about this world, including the closest frozen peaks biome. Honestly, I have no clue if it's gonna be a good frozen peaks biome. If it's not, we're coming right back here. If it is, it's good. The coordinates that we need to head to are 1320, 1450. I think that's going to mean we're going to need a boat because I'm pretty sure the coordinates, the direction we need to go is off that way. 1320, 1450. World spawn, I'm going to miss you. Or potentially if this is a terrible location, I'm not going to miss you at all and I'll be back really, really soon. Looking through all of this stuff right here, I think everything inside of my inventory uh, are the things that I really need to keep. Um, all of this stuff, I, I don't care about you at all. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. That was a little bit harsh. So 1320, 1450, the closest Frozen Peaks biome. Hopefully it's a good Frozen Peaks biome. If it's inspirational, we stay there and live there forever. And re really, uh, we're going to leave the map instantly. <laughs> what was the map even for? So we kind of lucked out with this world. Like, world spawn right here is a really nice world spawn. And we do have this option. We can always come back to it. I love a warm ocean or even a lukewarm ocean. The watercolor is great. That's nice to look at. A lot of different biomes over here, too, including the biomes where we could have villages. If we could find a village, like, right away, if we could find a village, that could be basically the best thing ever. We can move up to potatoes really quickly. Also, borrow a couple of the villagers, build an iron farm. One of my goals is an iron farm inside of this world before episode number 10. Dragon fight. I don't know. I, I don't really have any specific goals. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, dragon fight, I, I don't really care about it. Like, it's a thing, and we'll do it eventually, but we don't really get anything from the dragon fight. So we'll get around to the dragon fight at some point, but my first big goal of the series is definitely iron farm and also not falling into these gigantic caves. Like, look at this. These holes are, like, all over the ground. You definitely have to be careful where you're running at 1.18. That's one thing I'm learning. Tragically, at this point in our journey, we've completely lost the ocean. There are rivers, which are really, really nice, but no more ocean, which means traveling across land, which also means I'm gonna run of food i didn't consider the fact that this frozen peaks biome might not be anywhere near water so we're gonna have to figure out a food farm like really really quickly here or aha or i didn't even consider this cows look i'm really sorry about this but you you have food <laughs> wait 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 is that another jungle it's 100 another jungle I, our jungle is just like the most common thing in the world in 1.18 i mean no complaints at all like clearly i love it jungles are great i lived in one for like the longest time but like i feel like they used to be so hard to find and now they're just like everywhere i mean I guess cool. Oh, is this a desert that we have too? Maybe. It's like a small desert or something. Or maybe it's just like a like a big beach or something. Uh, is that a shipwreck? Oh, that's the shipwreck. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, with all the generation changes in 1.18, both above ground and underground, I definitely want to explore in this world too. But there are a couple things that I feel like we kind of need to get done first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of exploring, this is so cool too. I love when these things happen, like with the overhang and the water. Yeah, yeah, th that's really cool. We definitely need to explore this world at some point. Okay, good progress update. Things are starting to get hilly, which is a really, really good sign. Not a great sign that the hills are kind of like warm things like the jungle. And also, do you see what that is? <laughs> That's like basically the best thing ever. Dark Oak Forest, complete with the brand new and improved stripped Dark Oak Wood. Oh, I, I love this, except my inventory doesn't, so I'll come back for you. I, I won't forget you, though. I guarantee it, 100%. That stuff is going to be amazing. 100% building with that. You know, now that I think about it, I think we found basically every single type of wood other than the best type inside of this world already. Acacia, birch, oak, jungle, dark oak. We like literally almost have them all. I mean, there's one giant gaping hole that I definitely can't overlook and I won't. Definitely not. But like almost all of them already. Episode two. I think that's the fastest I've ever found all wood types. 13, 20, 14, 50. 13, 20, 14, 50. I'm going the wrong way. The way is that way now. Over the hill. You know, I'm really banking on this being a good, inspirational-looking mountain. If it's not, <laughs> I, I really don't want to have to go back to spawn and look at that lighthouse one more time. Like, I, I really don't. Uh-huh. 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 
Okay, this is good looking. This is this is really really good. It doesn't have a lot of height off of the ground. This is great looking. You see what's on top of that? Mm okay, okay. I remember that. You know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like this old growth birch forest biome is like the creepiest biome in the entire game. I don't know what it is about it, but I, I don't get good vibes from this place at all. Okay, big mountain with snow all over the place. We love it. We love it. The moon, nighttime. We don't. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Nice try. Nice try. Powder snow all over the place. I'm going to sink. Yeah, we're going to have to find a different way around this thing. Mm, that's a drop. That's a drop into a gigantic cave. Yeah, gonna have to be careful about that. That's an ocean, which means more free food, easily, for free. That's great. That's an amazing looking island, like really, really good. And that's a mountain. 100%, no mistaking it. Yeah, th that's a mountain. I don't know if it's the mountain originally, but I think we found it. The frozen mountain, the perfect base spot. I mean, yeah, that, that right there in the background, not only is it really good looking, but I also think it's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching Minecraft Survival episode number two. Ah uh, yes, home sweet home. And if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, send a meme over to r slash waddles or tag me in it on Twitter. I'll see you tomorrow. This has been me, your boy. Goodbye, everyone.